Hi, how's it going? This week's Sketchbook Tour, we're going to be looking at some of my more recent um, doodles and studies, ranging from some concept character designs to some Studio Ghibli uh, inspired studies and also some of my very recent um, experiments, I suppose you could call them. Me trying my hand at um, larger scale pieces with backgrounds, multiple figures. So without further ado, let's get into it. So once again, this is Goon. If you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know who he is. Um, this is me experimenting a bit with the queen of the story. Uh, and these are all my concept studies, um, my character designs, all ranging in quality. <laughs> uh, again, no reference me just hashing things out, seeing what works. Um, so this is the king, the self-appointed king, um, a very quiet man, doesn't man of very little words in the story. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with, with this one especially. That one's okay, although it looks a bit young. He's meant to be a very old and decrepit uh, chap. So experimenting with these, we're gonna be feathers but I kind of lost interest a little bit. <laughs> but the face I quite like, I quite like the face. He certainly looks a lot older. But this is me experimenting a bit. He's meant to be a lot more um, skinny, a lot more skinny than this. But again, this is just a sketchbook. This is me hashing things out, seeing what works, seeing what I like. Um, so back to the queen. And then this is Rudy. Again, if you've seen some of my older sketchbook tours, you'll kind of know who Rudy and Goon are. But um, yeah, they're, they're, well, they're goons, they're henchmen. They're uh, employed by the, the city leader to do all the, all the terrible things that he doesn't necessarily want to put his name to. So these guys do the dirty work. And the story isn't all about them, the story of Scrambled Eggs, this comic that I'm doing. But um, they're, they're pretty big figures, innit? And again, back to the Queen, who starts off as a bit of an antagonist. Experimenting a bit with trying to do the two characters together. Again, this is... A couple of things, it's me getting used to the character, drawing the characters. Um, it's also me trying to push myself a little bit because typically I'll just draw a face or maybe a full figure, but I won't do anything extra. So I thought I'd push myself a little bit, getting sort of stuck in bad habits or uh, going stale, let's say. So again, these are just some random Characters, I don't think I've drawn much um, for the week, so I did a, a couple of these pages just to test things out. And I haven't actually done much studying, so typically what I'd do before attempting something like this, I'd maybe do a page of portraits or a page of gesture drawings. But um, this week I've not really done any of that. Uh, it's just been me seeing what I can get away with without a reference. Um, and sometimes it works out. I mean, I quite like this one. There's obviously places where it could be a little bit better for me personally. But um, yeah, I, I, I got fed up with drawing guns, so I thought I'd draw a banana. And that's it for this week in terms of the character design stage of this video. <laughs> so... These, this particular sketchbook, the fan art type um, studies, me wanting to explore other people's um, characters or well-known characters. And again, these aren't things that I laboured over. Each drawing probably only took me a few minutes. Um, but just in order to build up a bit of a repertoire 
also build my visual library up a little bit with things that I'm not typically used to drawing because I've never really drawn other people's um, characters, to be honest. So, um, so this is Canada from um, Akira. This is Kai, it was meant to be Kai, I think that's her name anyway, from Akira also. Um, now, I'm not used to drawing manga, the, like the manga style, so, um, you know, I, I, I took a shot at, at Kai, but it didn't quite work out, although I'm quite happy with Canada. And again, all of these are quite quick, quickly done, you know. Um, so, I think at the time I just finished reading Hellboy, the first, um, I think it's an anthology, volume one or whatever. And um, always been a fan of uh, the Mignola style. Um, I like how he simplifies things, especially in his use of, of um, cutting in the shadow is really good. So I thought I'd do some studies of Hellboy. And then this is me trying to sort of do a Hellboy in in my style, let's say, or the way that I typically draw faces. Um, struggled with the horns, wasn't quite sure what to do with those, but it was a fun experiment. These ones didn't work out quite as well. This is a few pages of, of duds. And there's quite a few duds in this particular sketchbook because I really wanted to just throw everything at it. Um, I'm not interested in creating a, a really, you know, um, stylish or well-drawn thing. It's more about me getting used to drawing potentially in another style or things in my style that I'm not used to drawing, like Batman. Um, now, I'm not the hugest Batman fan, but I don't mind Batman. Um, but as far as silhouettes, as far as characters go, he's pretty, pretty damn iconic. So I thought I'd spend half an hour doing some bat Batman to varying degrees. Obviously, this one didn't work out very well. Um, trying to throw a little bit more um, ink into the mix. It's definitely something. That I plan to work on a little bit more, um, creating those no tan like black and white harsh contrast. Um, sort of going back to the, the Mignola style um, that I quite like, I'd, I'd like to incorporate a little bit of that into my own work. So, and then on to the Jubilee things. So, I spent quite a long time doing these sort of things. Um, and it was a lot of fun. Um, I, I never intended to spend this long on one particular subject. I wanted this book to be a bit more like how the beginning, the things you've just seen, you know, do a maximum of five on each character and then move on. But um, I absolutely adore uh, Studio Ghibli. So it was, uh, it was kind of something that I couldn't not spend time doing. Um, and again, the, the, these first few sketches a little bit wobbly because I'm not used to drawing in that style. You know, Totoro looks a bit, a bit strange there. Um, I think these are without a reference. So something else I started doing, I tried to, tried to do him uh, kind of realistic, but it, it turned out really wrong. Um, but yeah, I, I wanted to, to spend time studying just quick, brief studies from references, from film stills or from posters. Um, do a page or two of that and then move on to doing something of my own. Um, with, with those characters fresh in mind. So for No Face... These are all from a reference, and then these aren't. And again, it's to ver varying quality. And a lot of these are, you know, a lot of them I'm very proud of, but there are quite a few duds um, that need a bit more work. 
But I feel like if you're not creating, if you if you're not if if the, if there are no duds in your sketchbook, you're not doing it right. Um, you've got to be making mistakes, as I keep saying. Make lots of mistakes. That's the quickest way to learn. Um, so Calcifer again without a reference, and some of these characters are quite simple. So it was it, I didn't personally find it too much of a challenge, but it was great study for actually um, learning how to create a character. Um, because even if something's a very sim uh, simple, you know, it can be incredibly characterful. It's very elegant, a lot of this stuff, I find. Um, so some cat bus, these, these are without a reference. I remember being very happy with this one. And I have, if, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen that I've been um, redrawing some of these things and making them larger and a little bit more detailed. Uh, and, and all of those are going to be available to buy. Um, I'm also going to be doing things that aren't Studio Ghibli. I'm going to be doing, you know, lots of things from from fan art to my own uh, artwork. I might do a few landscape type things in there. Um, so again, without a reference, again, very happy with that one. Um, Nausicaa ones. So, at the time, I was creating reels um, and doing time lapses of these. So there's a lot of false starts. Um, so my plan is with this sketchbook is to go back and fill in some of these pages. Um, so yeah. Just because it's easier to edit, you know, things like reels and TikToks, if you've just got the whole, whole thing. So yeah, there's lots of empty pages, but I will be going back and uh, I might even reshare some of that stuff. So, uh, which of the wastes? Without a reference, without a reference. Um, but yeah, I'll skim through some of this because it, it does go on a little bit, but yeah. Uh, without reference, with a reference, and that's kind of the... Oh, well, Mr. Page. Um, yeah, that's kind of the theme of this this kind of thing. Again, some false starts. Still not used to the the, the sort of in-house style or the manga style. Although I was very happy with that one, so... So from here... I might um, then break down a few things um, to simple shapes. Um, now I've got more of a, a handle on how these things are meant to look, how these characters are meant to look. I then might look more closely, do more detailed studies, analysis, break things down into proportion. Um, Try and rotate a few things, like I say, break them down into shapes. Um, this is the Prince from Katamari. If you've played that game, I'm really enjoying that. There's some good Atama. Sort of hung up on Japanese um, characters and things at the moment. So that's that's it for that book. It's not quite finished, like I say, there's lots of um, pages to go back to, fill in. Um, and there's definitely some, a lot more work needs to go into those, I feel. But it was a very enjoyable experience, especially when you've spent the last couple of years um, learning anatomy or, you know, these, they're interesting subjects, they're very fun to learn, but they can be a bit stodgy. So going to something that's very cartoony, very fun or very exciting, um, is a lot of fun. It's, I've had a, it's almost like dessert or something. Um, 
and then there's these so for the longest time I think as I've said in the first sketchbook I've been um, doing single figures or single portraits and I wanted to try with what knowledge I have to to create a scene um, and this is once these sketchbooks are done, once this sketchbook is done, I'm going to focus more on doing these sort of pages. Um, so at the moment, these are without a reference, all, all from imagination, just seeing what comes out, no particular plan. Um, but moving forward, I want to combine my studies my no reference, concept designs, fan art, you know, s realistic or serious with silly and obscure. And that's what I kind of see my next sketchbook being, um, you know, a, a combination of those things. So doing a study and then seeing if I can make the perspective work with that study with something more imaginative. So this is a primer for that sort of thing. Also, with creating this comic that I'm doing, I need to get used to drawing scenes. Um, and again, it doesn't always work. This this started off okay with this figure, but then I, I really screwed up the uh, perspective. Bit of a false start. And this is just a, a very cheap sketchbook, but um, I'm so used to drawing in sort of like smaller, smaller pages I really wanted to draw something big as well um, and out of everything this has been very 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 fun I've really enjoyed this so again no initial thought I started off with this character in fact he started off like that and then I started doing something wasn't too bothered with it but I liked this so move I, I sort of try to replicate that the best I could from memory and then from there try to work out the rest in terms of perspective again it's not perfect I need to do more detailed study but as I've mentioned before my process is about throwing myself into something that I don't feel all that comfortable with seeing what I can do and I'm working backwards to figure out how to make certain things better or correct, let's say, or, or um, yeah, to, to basically learn from those mistakes. And this is the last one. This is one that I did last night, so you're probably the first to see this. Um, yeah, pretty upset with the state of the world <laughs> at this point. Um, so I thought I'd do some greedy pigs eating handfuls of, of cash, basically. Um, but again, no reference. Um, I did have an, an initial idea that I wanted to draw a, a pig in a suit, but I just sort of ran with it from there. Um, a little bit Animal Farm-esque or something, I don't know. But anyway, um, we'll leave it there. So hopefully next week I'll have a couple more of these sketchbooks finished. Hopefully have this one finished. It's been a lot of fun doing this, so I don't think it's going to take me too long to fill up. And it's not even a... A huge sketchbook. So yeah, hopefully by next week I will have started a new sketchbook that in incorporates all those ideas from fan art to deep study. Um, because for the longest time I've had separate sketchbooks for separate things, but I feel like I really want to combine those things and see how they look on the same page and have more fun with it, like with this. So yeah, I'm feeling... Very excited to be drawing at the minute. Um, so, yeah, if you've made it this far, far thank you very much. Um, and I'll see you next week. All right, toodaloo.